What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Marvel's Avengers. And today I'd like to give you some combat tips, just some things that I have learned in game. Uh, the first thing I'd like to talk about, of course, I have mentioned, you know, parrying, blocking, um, dodging in, in past videos and how important that is. But another thing you want to learn to do is, of course, counterattack after you have done those correctly. All characters in game have some type of skill where they either can stun the enemy by knocking them down, uh, you can jump over them, attack them from behind if they're blocking. But if you have dodged, parried, or blocked correctly, you will have a, a couple seconds there where you can counterattack the enemy. And that is what you always want to be doing. If you're playing on harder difficulty levels like Challenge 2, Challenge 3, the enemies are going to be a lot harder to defeat. And if you are blocking and parrying correctly and then going kind of from defense to right to offense, you're going to see a lot of success when fighting all different types of enemies in game. The next thing I would like to talk about would be learning to... Uh, kind of chain these combat skills together. I'm still learning this myself. I'm not really great at it. But once you get further and further into kind of the end game part of the Avengers, uh, you're going to see that just light attack and heavy attack combos really aren't going to cut it. It's going to take a lot of light attacks and heavy attacks to defeat these enemies. But if you look, of course, at your skill page, all the skills you've unlocked, you can chain a lot of these combat skills together with no matter what character you're really using. And you can do a lot of damage to enemies a lot quicker. Um, if you do not, if you're just going with that kind of light and heavy attack idea, it's going to take a while to defeat a lot of these enemies. And also you're going to see that you're going to be, you know, killed or, or have to get away from the fight a lot yourself. So if you can learn to counterattack and then also chain some of these offensive abilities together, uh, you're going to be able to deal some massive damage to some of these harder style enemies in game. Uh, another thing that's uh, really handy, in my opinion, and that is locking on enemies. Uh, of course, on PS4, that is the R3, so the right thumbstick, you click it in, and you can lock on an enemy. I'm sure it's probably the same on Xbox. I'm not quite sure what the key would be on PC for that. But, in my opinion, a lot of times you get in some of these fights, there's a, there's a lot of enemies around. There may be a certain enemy you want to focus on. Uh, I just like to lock on enemies uh, myself, just because I can just focus on that one enemy and take them out one by one. If you do not do that, sometimes... In my opinion, the, the the combat's a little clunky. The camera will kind of get adjusted oddly if you don't, or if you're not locked on a particular enemy. You might be fighting something in front of you, and something beside behind you hits you, and you somehow hit them in the middle of a fight. And you'll notice you can see your character fighting, but you can't see the enemy you're fighting on screen. I've seen that happen a lot, and I've noticed if I lock on to enemies, I do not have that problem as often. Another thing is make sure that you take out ranged attacks before you take out anything else. And I did a horrible, horrible, horrible job of that. In this video um, if I would have been playing on a higher difficulty level than challenge 2 I probably would have been in some serious trouble because a lot of these ranged attacks whether it be turrets or bots or enemies flying in the air with jetpacks they will do some absolutely massive damage to you and those things need to be take, taken out first you want to take out everything kind of you want to work back from kind of range down to everything that's on the ground that's melee style enemies so make sure you take out everything in the air that is ranged before you take out anything else when fighting uh, all these different style enemies in Marvel's Avengers. And last but not least, is kind of learn the different fighting styles the enemies have. It's good to know all the different kind of combat styles that your different heroes and characters have in game. But also, if you notice, a lot of these enemies will either do kind of light, light attacks, heavy attack combos, uh, some different kind of combinations, depending on what style weapon they may be using. But if you can kind of start to learn all the different enemies' uh, fighting kind of styles, it's a lot easier to know exactly what you need to do and when you need to do it. You know when to dodge, you know when to counterattack, you know when to go on the offensive, you know when to stay on the defensive. So just be aware of that as well. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts about it. And of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, GT Racing, the community Discord, and my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.